What's going on, y'all? Chicago realists. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I just want to give, like, I want to speak on that Lil Wayne situation. I feel like when I guess he endorsing Trump and all of that goofy shit. Look, Lil Wayne is one of my favorite artists. Like, literally, like one of my favorite artists, right? But I never, ever, he's like one of my favorite artists for like music. You know what I mean? I'm just waking up, sorry. Um, one of my favorite artists for music. That's it. <laughs> Nothing outside of that, right? So I look at it like I wouldn't even ask Lil Wayne what does he feel about Black Lives Matter. Uh, hold on one second. Black Lives Matter or whatever, anything that's going on in the world because he's so out of touch with the world. Like, I don't know if he on drugs. Well, we do know he on drugs, right? And then on top of that, I mean, he has just a, he's been, he's been had to stay. He got like a Floyd Mayweather type of stance on anything that middle class or I guess us regular people go through. So I would never, you know what I mean? Like, even though I do feel like he's wrong for what he said, because, you know what I'm saying? He has a voice. A lot of people like me and millions of others listen to him. So when you have a voice like that, you do have a responsibility to, you know what I mean, address certain situations, I believe. But just to take his advice, knowing his stance, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, why are we even ask a little way in this? I know why they ask. Clickbait. They get a viral moment like they did. You know what I mean? But at this point, I just feel like we shouldn't even listen to him. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my stance on it. Like, <clears throat> this is not going to stop me from listening to his music. I don't like that. I'm going to be real. But... I was never following his advice on any today's issues or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I, I was never looking like, let me see what Lil Wayne said about Black Lives Matter or, you know, who he's voting for. Like, no. Like, just like with the, uh, we were, they were trying to ban Gucci and all that with Floyd, Floyd Mather, whether they said the same stupid stuff. Like, I don't follow trends. I don't like you know what I mean. He's a great fighter. Love to see him fight. But am I asking for his advice? Am I looking to see what he says to get his opinion on what what's going on? Anything important? No, he's an entertainer. He's entertaining. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this was a viral moment, an entertaining moment. All right, now he he's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and I think that's what is going on in today's, like, where, like, a lot of artists are being looked at as, I mean, because they're public figures and they, they have a lot of following, they're looking at, they they looking at as more than entertainers, and some people are, you know, T.I., um, Killer Mike, and, you know, a few others, they are, they're actually doing work, but you gotta understand, some artists are literally just artists, just entertainers. So please, like, don't even take, even take nothing they say seriously. I mean, think about what's going on now. Like, we got guys pretending to be gay who not gay just to get views and get a viral moment. You know what I mean? It's like, y'all entertainers, they entertaining. We got to stop taking this so, so serious. Like, and we got to teach our kids that too. Like, they're not, they're entertainers. <laughs> That's it. It's not like they sat back and read a book and, well, this is my stance on this and I think everyone should follow me. No, you know, he get in front of that camera. He's trying to create a, a moment. He's trying to entertain. And that's and that's what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's my stance on that. So.